This is a Kevsov risk loss presentation. Proceed to watch the video. Videos. And this one here is manipulate XML files with uh, basically a Dr. Wimp. Name Dr. Wimp. And if, so if I, uh, you notice there, I've got four copies of the same application. So there's going to be four bits that I'm going to show you and close files. And down here are the XML files, which I got from an application that my RAN user uses. But I'll put these on my website, I'll link to them anyway. And don't forget, if you go too fast, you can always pause the video anytime you want to. We go down here, Dev plot display, this is what happens when you click on the uh, icon. It opens the file here, and I say I'll put a mistake here. This is to show you what happens because you will make mistakes here and you need a way to counteract it. And you don't want to upload up open files. If I load in closed files, click on this, you see mistake at line 183. And you see down here that the file is still open. Close this down. And close that in a minute. Now go on to the second version. If you notice here on DefProc user error, if file set is greater than zero, close hash files. And we come down to here before we call everything, we've got file percent equals zero. Then we go down here with the same mistake. In it, and here you got file equals zero. Which basically, if it does no mistakes, that will just tell the computer that it's closed and everything's hunky dory. So we now go on, now reload close files in, in again. Click on this <coughs> mistake there. You notice the file, the file holes has been closed. That's the handle mistakes. You will make mistakes doing this. It's better to be able to close, get the file all right closed rather than hundreds and hundreds of open files. Now you have to go into the main meat of the application without mistakes in it. Don't even the next part. So that's all the same. Down here it, on Dev Pro, use a mouse cl click. What it does open the window called Main Ascent and prop, of course, Prop Display. Dev Prop Display. So you. Uh, Use file to open this XML file. Get a minute. It's called mail. Now, basically, what we're doing from here is getting the person's name, title, first name, last name, and their address. One thing you notice here, you've got to take here. So, that, so we go down here. So, the first thing to get the title. We got text string equals get string hash file percent. That reads it one line at a time. And the most important command here is INSTR. What that does, it tells you tell you how far along this tag here is from here. So we got title here. You notice they're all indented. So we got start. If start is greater than zero. That means it's found it. We then find the closing tag, which is the slash title. That's the end percent. Uh, the text equals mid string, text string again, the start percent plus seven, which is how lot number of characters title is with the uh, angle brackets. They, that's where it starts, and the end percent minus start percent seven, that gives you the length of the. Uh, bits in between the tags. Then we then we could put the uh, text onto the icon. Same for first and same for last name. So if I now load this in, the third one, as you can see it's got the names. First title, first name, last name. Wait a minute. You now notice here you got name there tag name there tag and further down 
There's another name tag, which basically different versions down there. So what we need to do, if we got on the, on the fourth one, close that one down a minute. Close this one back in again. Or go down here. At the very beginning of, of this, I put a, a very good name percent. What that does is basically a switch. And um, if you look further down, you see a, sh a, sh a short st if statement block. It's going street. So when it finds street, which is there, we know there's a name coming up. So it then goes name set equals one. Another thing, because we've got the uh, number and street name, when I put on the same icon, but the icon. So you actually, we've got num string. Do that. Then we've got name when they come to name. If the switch is on, we've got name percent. Then we do repeat the whole thing again to get the person's get the uh, street number and the street name on one icon. And the rest of it is all the same postcode. All of these ones down here, which is exactly the same as the top. So now we load the fourth and final one in. You'll see all the details there. You've got the uh, street number and street name. You would notice on here there's a female one, which is the same tags with different information. So if I go down to, so I've gone too far, here and change that to female, save it, load it in. There you see the details are finished. Okay, thank you. Hope you enjoyed this. There may be better ways of doing this, but this works for me. If you know a better way, please leave a comment in, the, in leave a comment in the comment section. Okay, thanks. Goodbye, and see you on the next video, whatever that's going to be about. Goodbye.